righteously and godly in this present world. And most of your preachers, uh, they laugh and mock at old time preaching. Most of your preachers won't tell you how you're supposed to live and what grace of God is and what salvation really is.
Have that road of sin, my friend, will end up in hell if you don't bow your knees, my friend, and bow your heart and bow your head before the Master and the Lord and Jesus Christ. And ye must repent and believe the gospel. And but here in Luke chapter number 16, my friend, there is a real place. And that place is called hell. And that place is just as real as Liberty, South Carolina. It's more real tonight, my friend. There's sinners there screaming and hollering and begging for one drop of water. There's souls there. There's real people. And it goes out that real place. Oh, yes, there's real people. There's grandmothers. There's grandfathers. There's mamas. There's daddies. There's sons. There's daughters. My friend, dropping off in the hell. The Bible says of the hell has enlarged herself. My friend, it's getting full. It's getting fuller by the day and where people reject the Lord Jesus Christ and they go on in their road of sin. And my friend, let me tell you, there is no joy. There is no pleasure. My friend, the but for a season and you can rest assured that season will end, my friend. You'll be left empty and you'll be left lonely and my friend, you'll not have anybody and you'll wish a thousand worlds and you can go back And once you've done that place, once you die, my friend, they put you on six foot under on the ground. I know what you're doing, my friend, and God's keeping the record. You better believe that there's a God in heaven. My friend, he's the creator. And my friend, he can take your breath just as sure as you're walking across the road, my friend. He's the one who controls this whole thing. Don't think you're bigger than God. My friend, he can take you out That's tonight. And my friend, there's a God in heaven. And he's sitting on the throne. Tonight. And my friend, you're not going to rush shot God. And you're not going to tell God what you want to do and what you're not. I'm going to do. My friend, what you end up doing is going to hell. You may think you want to go there tonight and want to live that life out of sin. But let me tell you, my friend, there's heartache. There's pain. My friend, let me tell you about a drunk tonight. My friend, when he come home and see his wife, when he come home and roll in his vomit, my friend, they dying of living disease. My friend, let me tell you tonight, that lifestyle of a drunkard will end in destruction. There's nothing but heartache and pain. My friend, separated lives. My friend, the whole story on the pieces. Let me tell you tonight, my friend, that road of sin is nowhere. Won't you turn to Jesus tonight? My friend, let me tell you, turn to the one that loves you and the one that gave his life for you. Why don't you turn from that fornication, that adultery? My friend, why don't you turn from your sin and turn? to the precious lamb that gave his blood and to die for you. My friend, to redeem you from the foul snare and from the devil. Why don't you do that tonight? My friend, this day is not a ball game. It's nothing, my friend, to be a scoffing at. It's serious, my friend. It's real. It's a real place. A real people a go there at the night. And my friend, once you're there, you cannot get out. And the people that are in heaven, I can't get out. And they don't want have to get out. And my friend, it's a real place. But my friend, let me tell you, the message tonight is real place. And the message is real place, my friend. And you must repent or you will perish. My friend, it does not get any clearer than that. My friend, you made your choice. Now you make your choice while you live here down here below. My friend, neither you're going to choose. My friend, you get saved by the grace of God and turn from your wicked ways and turn to God. Well, my friend, you're going to uh, keep on living like you are. And my friend, what's going to happen is you're going to end up in hell. We don't want that. We don't want that tonight. But we want somebody, my friend, to repent and realize the seriousness of sin. And my friend, where it's going to take them and where it took the precious the Son of God. My friend, he gave his life for you, for your sin. My friend, why don't you look at it, my friend, in, in real terms at the night that Jesus died for your sin. And my friend, why don't you repent and believe the gospel?